What's up guys, welcome to Audio Architects. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to build a music streamer out of a Raspberry Pi. Stay tuned. What's going on everyone? Mike with Audio Architects here. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to build your very own Raspberry Pi music streamer. I'm really excited about this because I'm actually using it myself and it's created a substantial difference in sound quality compared to what I was using before, which was just plugging my phone directly into a preamp. So forget all that, that's not gonna happen anymore. So now that I have discovered how to stream audio through an actual legit device, I'm excited to share it with you. So like I said, step by step, I'm gonna go through how to not only build your Raspberry Pi, but also install Volumio because that was, I think, the biggest obstacle I had in this whole experience. So I want you guys to have just a streamlined, easy experience. So basically I did the hard work for you. So let's go ahead and get into it and start building your Raspberry Pi right now. For this project, I decided to go with the Argon Neo Raspberry Pi 4 Model B case and bundle, which included the power adapter, a SanDisk Ultra 32 gig micro SD card, and the HDMI cable to connect it to a monitor if need be. This case is very nice. It's small, sleek, professional looking, while still offering access to GPIO and camera ports. It actually looks like a professional product that you would buy in the store rather than just a DIY project. The kit itself is $80 and I think it is totally, totally worth it. One tool you'll need is a very small screwdriver like this. I suggest you have that just to be able to screw the bottom onto the actual case. Everything thus far has been pretty self-explanatory, however, in this clip I'm placing the thermal material onto the processor of the board. At this point, you're gonna be putting your SD card in, which is already loaded with Volumio. I will show you how to do that shortly. Voila, it's all done. To begin, you'll need a tool to format your SD card. The SD Card Association provides the most robust SD card formatting tool. I will leave a link in the description below to download the file. You'll also need a program to flash Volumio onto your SD card. I suggest using Etcher. Once you have your SD card plugged into a SD card reader, I suggest using one by Anchor. You'll go ahead and just do a quick format on the card to get it all cleared out. After that, you're gonna go ahead and download Volumio directly from their website. Make sure you download the Raspberry Pi version. This will create a zip file on your hard drive to the image file you'll need to flash onto your SD card. 
Once you have Etcher loaded up, go ahead and locate the image file you downloaded from Volumio. Then you're going to select your target drive, which is going to be your SD card. Make sure you choose your SD card. Very important. And then go ahead and hit flash. It gave me a funky warning because I was using a different card. However, if you're using the card that comes with this package, you shouldn't have any problems at all. And just wait for it to flash. It may take a few minutes depending on your system. Once it's complete, make sure it flashed correctly and there were no issues with the card. It will take about five to six minutes to initially load the program. If you're using an ethernet cable directly from your network, you can totally disregard this part. However, if you do wanna use the wireless feature that this Raspberry Pi offers, go ahead and check out these steps. Once it's all loaded up, the Raspberry Pi will create its own mobile hotspot called Volumio. So go ahead and go to your PC and connect to the mobile hotspot by using the password Volumio2, all lowercase. That should take you to Volumio's user interface for the PC. Here, you're going to be basically doing a normal basic setup for your Volumio. Now, as far as the DAC goes, disregard it for now. You're going to be changing that once you actually plug in a DAC. So once you plug in a DAC, the Volumio slash Raspberry Pi will sense it. At that point, it will allow you to select whatever DAC you're using as your audio output. It will ask you a few more basic questions and then it will finally take you to the network page. Here you will select your actual network that you use at home. Make sure you put in the password incorrectly. And from there, it, it will link up directly to your network and you'll never need to mess with this part of the process again, unless of course you change networks. It does offer the ability to add another device. However, for now, we're good to go. All right. Now let's talk about the mobile app. The mobile app is extremely easy to use. It's gonna search for the actual device and once it finds the device, it will pop up and you just click on Volumio or whatever it is you named it. Then you can just scroll through the user interface. Super easy, really robust. It couldn't be any easier. Make sure to go to plugins and download Spotify if that's what you use as your music player. I use Spotify, so I went ahead and downloaded the plugin. And if you go back to the main screen, you can just go directly to Spotify on the user interface and it links up to all your playlists and it uploads all the, all the cover art. It's really, really cool. This video is actually going to be part of a three video Video series. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about the Topping E30 DAC that I'm using with this unit, as well as the amplification I'm using, which is the Stark 84. So stay tuned for those videos. Okay, everyone, thanks for staying till the end. I hope this tutorial was not only helpful, but entertaining at the same time. I know things get kind of boring when it's screen share time and stuff like that, but thanks for sticking around. As always, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Please subscribe to the channel because that helps me out so much. And ring the bell to get notified anytime I put out new content. Thanks again for tuning in. And don't forget, the next video I'm going to do is on the topping DAC, which connects directly into the Raspberry Pi. It's a very integral part of this whole system. So stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for joining me. See you next week. Oh,